In the first video of my credit building and repair series, I talked about the importance of credit and how credit, not cash, is king in today's world, and in particular in this country. And I stand by that, and I firmly believe in that. And I think that will only continue to be even more and more true as time goes along. And when we talk about credit, you know, one of the major things that ties into credit is our credit reports. One of the most important things of our lives, honestly, is our credit reports. Our credit reports are a picture of our financial health. They are what lenders and creditors use as a risk assessment tool to be able to determine whether or not you're a worthy credit risk where this company is going to basically give you this money, extend you this line of credit, and hope that you're going to be able to pay it back. I mean, when we talk about credit reports, you know, you can sit there and lie to people until you're blue in the face and convince them that you're good for it or get people to buy into you and believe in you. You can bullshit people. You can sit there and convince people of something. You can manipulate people. You can hide from people. You can't run and hide from your credit history. Because if your credit history is bad, as soon as somebody's going to go pull up one of your credit reports, they're going to see it splat out right there. They're going to say, this jabroni doesn't pay shit back. His credit is tore up from the mother humping floor up. I ain't giving him two cents. In fact, I should charge him for having to pull this damn credit report and read this toilet paper because it's covered with shit. You can't hide from your credit. You can't lie about your credit. Because at the end of the day, it's there when somebody pulls it and they'll be able to find out the truth. You know, and you talk about credit reports, they're so critically important because they give that picture of your overall financial health. They give that picture of your overall credit history, your personal consumer behavior, your credit behavior. You know, talking about things like payment history, the types of credit you've had, how long you've had that credit, how much credit you've had, how you've used the credit that you've had. You know, have you used it wisely? Have you used it poorly? Have you been able to pay it back? You know, are all of your credit cards maxed out, making you a big time financial risk, potentially a concern for you filing bankruptcy um, or not being able to pay your debts back and having all these accounts getting charged off, so on and so forth. The bottom line is credit reports are so incredibly important because at the end of the day, they are a representation of who you are as a consumer and your likeliness to use credit responsibly, use money responsibly, and ultimately pay back your debts and obligations. And when we talk about credit reports, there are three major credit reporting agencies, or what they're sometimes referred to as credit bureaus. That's TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Now, technically, there's a fourth one in Innovus. A lot of you probably like, who the hell's a Novus? I've never heard of them. Well, they really are small potatoes, and they frankly don't matter all that much. But to flex my muscle on this, I brought up a Novus. They're so wonky that you can't even go to their website and order the credit report there. That, that's how bad it is with Anovis. I don't even think they offer a credit score. I've never known them to offer a credit score. I don't know who pulls them. I don't know who reports to them because they don't matter. What really matters are TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. These are the three big boys. These are the big kahunas of credit reporting. And what's a shame is, is that these companies and the reports that they issue where the information is provided on others and these bureaus are ultimately relying upon the accuracy of the information of others that they furnish. Now, these are for-profit entities. These are businesses. These are not companies that are out there for the greater consumer good. These are companies that are ultimately out there offering a product, offering a service, and trying to make a buck and trying to make a profit. And anytime you go to any of these companies' websites like TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, you see this when they're trying to sell uh, fraud protection tools and credit monitoring and credit tracking and ag unlimited access to your report and your score and all this other BS. You understand that at the end of the day, the thing that's most important to these entities, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, is making a buck. Now, they're a business, and I understand it, but... These companies and the information they provided provide that is provided to them by other sources is so critically important that I just have a fundamental problem 
with them having to charge people ever to be able to access that basic information. It's just the way I look at it. I realize a lot of people don't agree with me, but that, again, is just the way I look at it. You know, with what they're providing and how important their information that they have is, their first priority should be providing that information, not sitting there and trying to sell you everything under the damn sun that, frankly, you don't flip and need. And what's even more sad about TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian is that when I look at so many people in this country, they'll know all about a beef between Drake and Meek Mill. They'll know all about, you know, what's going on with the Kardashian family. And we'll talk about this stupid crap and that stupid crap. And we know so much about so many stupid ass things. Yet, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian are three of the most important companies in this country. Three of the by far most important companies that you will ever deal with in your life, whether on a day-to-day -day or sporadic basis. And most people don't even know who the hell they are. Most people couldn't even name two of them, let alone all three of them. A lot of people don't even know what's on their credit reports. They don't even have the first clue on how the hell to even get their credit report. How terrible is that? And how sad is that? When you're uninformed and uneducated, it can be dangerous and it can be disastrous. We see that in our politics. We see that in our people. And I think in a lot of ways, why so many people have bad credit, why so many people find themselves in bad financial straits is because they're uninformed and uneducated. And while, yes, at the end of the day, in this age of information at your fingertips with the Internet, you can go find it if you want to. It's shame on us as a country, shame on us as a society for not more properly emphasizing the importance of this and emphasizing the education of credit, credit reporting, credit management, the utilization of credit, and all these different things. We'll sit there with sophomores and juniors in high school and teach them about calculus and geometry, shit that 98% of those students in those classes will never really honestly use in their lifetime. Yet all the while, we don't even bother teaching anything in a high school class about credit reports or credit scores, nothing like that. And yet this is something that as soon as you turn 18 can be something you deal with every single day of the rest of your life. So when I look at credit reports, I, I, they're, they're a huge deal to me. And, you know, I've educated myself over the years. I've learned a lot over the years. I've informed myself a lot over the years. And again, part of the reason for doing this whole continuing series now and going forward is going to be to help you, to help better inform you, to help better educate you. And when I look at credit reports, I think it's absolutely inexcusable if you're an adult in this country and you don't know what the hell is on your bureau reports. If you don't know what is there, what isn't there, and where you stand and how you stand, then shame on you because you're doing yourself a disservice and you're potentially negatively impacting the day-to-day -day quality of your life. So I'm here to help. And frankly, as I mentioned earlier and referenced earlier, I have a huge problem with paying TransUnion, Equifax, or Experian to ever pull my credit report. And I don't think you should have to. So I'm here to tell you how you can get your credit reports for free. Because some of you will know this and that's fine. This will be repetitive. You'll be like, oh, shut up about it. But there are plenty of you that don't, and plenty of you that don't really know to go where to look, and plenty of you that don't even know why this is important or why this matters. So not only am I here to tell you how to get them for free, I'm frankly here to give you some advice too about how you'll never have to pay for a credit report ever again from these three major credit reporting agencies. That's right. If you do some of these things and you use some of these different tricks of the trade, you can literally get a free credit report pretty much whenever you want. It's pretty much what I do, and I hope that more of you will start to do it as well. Now, the first option some of you do know about, which is that under federal law, you are allowed one free credit report per year from each of the three major credit reporting agencies, and that those three major credit bureaus are required by law to give you one free credit report every 12 months. How to get that is to go through annualcreditreport.com. Now, technically, you could go through the individual credit reporting agencies yourself, 
But honestly, good luck to you if you try to go through their websites because you have to navigate through all the crap that they're trying to sell you. You can go to annualcreditreport.com, fill in your information, go through the process, click on that you want your report from TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, and one by one you can sit there and you can get that information, you can save it as a PDF on your computer, you can print it out, and bam, there you go. You have digital and hard copies of each of your three major credit bureau reports once a year for free. No matter whether you really utilize credit that much or whether credit really matters to you, at least once a year, you could do, give yourself a financial wellness checkup and be able to see what's there, what's not there, what maybe is good, what should maybe be an area of concern. So once a year, no matter what, you're entitled to a free credit report. Nobody can deny that to you. Uh, that right is protected by federal law, and that's a good thing. But that's not the only way you can get a free credit report. There are other reasons as well and other ways to be able to get them. And some of these ways that I will throw out there to you are ways that I have used in the past or ways that I continue to use to be able to go outside of annualcreditreport.com and their once a year offer to be able to get my free credit reports every month, every two months, every three months, every six months, you know, basically whenever the hell I want to check them for whatever reason. Here are some of the other reasons how you can get a free credit report through TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian even if you've already gotten your free report from annualcreditreport.com. One would be if you're unemployed. A lot of people don't know that these credit bureaus are going to provide you with a free copy of your credit report if you're in an unemployed status. You know, I don't know if you're unemployed, if your credit report is the most important thing in the world to you, unless there could potentially be some bad stuff on your credit that is keeping you from getting a job, which can happen. It doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen. I've seen it happen. I've had it happen to me. So if you are unemployed, if somebody's giving you something for free, why the hell not take advantage of it? There you go. You can get your free credit report whenever you want to if you're unemployed. If you've been denied credit or insurance at any point in time, usually within the past 60 days, you can as well go on there and get a free copy of your credit report because where that lender or that insurance company may sit there and send you back a letter if they denied you credit or what have you and had to outline certain things, what agency they use, what information uh, they used for their decision making, what ultimately led to them declining you. you know. That doesn't tell you everything. Maybe it's been a while since you pulled a credit report. Maybe there's something on there that shouldn't be on there or something that you weren't even aware was on there. You know, you want to be able to see that. That's another way that you can go there. If you've gotten an adverse credit action where somebody, an, a creditor, a lender, gave you a less than top line rate compared to other customers who applied for the same product because of your history, you can get it there. If a company has decreased your credit limit or raised your interest rate because of risk-based strategies, they viewed you as an increased credit risk, again, you have an opportunity to get a copy of your free credit report. If you've recently had fraud, you know, or you need to put a fraud alert on there, you can go under that option. And again, another way that you can go ahead and get a free copy of your credit report. The last one is the one that honestly I utilize the most. It's the option to me that always seems to be the most beneficial. It also is the option that seems to be the easiest for me outside of annualcreditreport.com. And that is going to Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion, all three of them, frankly, and going to each of them and saying that I want to initiate a dispute. I want to start a dispute. Now, sometimes I legitimately will want to dispute something on my credit report, whether that's an account history, whether that's a collection, whether that's a... Uh, inquiry, whether that's personal information, all these different things that you could potentially dispute on your credit report. I go in there and I say that I want to start a dispute and initiate a dispute, put in the information I need to. Sometimes I have to answer security questions that I would need to know. Bam! I could file a dispute if I need to on certain items and sometimes I have to, sometimes I don't. Otherwise, wouldn't you know, I could pull up a free copy of my credit report again. I can tell you so far in 2015, I have pulled up each of my bureaus at least four times. I think one of them, it might have been Equifax, I pulled up five. Think about that. 
By law, you get one per year. But because of different parameters put in place for you as consumers through these credit reporting agencies, through these credit bureaus, you have other avenues to go. These credit reports that could cost you eight, nine, ten bucks a pop each time you have to pull them from each company, I'm getting for free. I want you to be able to get them for free as well. And these are some of the options that you have. There are other ways too. If you've gone recently to buy a car or getting ready to go buy a car, you know, before that car dealership sits there and sends your credit report off to eight or nine different freaking lenders so that way half of them could decline you or you know as they're sitting there and maybe giving you and extending you in-house financing where they're going to pull your credit report tell them hey you're pulling my credit report print it out give me a copy let me see in most cases they'll be willing to do so and why not they've already incurred the cost of pulling the report as a dealership anyways you know, maybe you want to know because maybe you can't buy that vehicle now, but six months, year from now, you're going to come back to that dealer potentially and buy that car. They want to know and they want you to come back. So they've already paid for it. Why not give it? Why not? If you're running a place or if you're getting ready to buy a house and you're going through that whole long ass process, you know, they'll pull your credit report. Why not ask them for a copy? Usually when you're dealing with mortgage lenders, they'll go ahead and give you that report or they'll let you see all the information that's on there, your report, your history, your score, all of that. You know, same thing if you're renting a place, especially because a lot of times you're paying an application fee, which in part you're paying for that, you know, that real estate company or for that property management group to pull your credit report. So in some ways, you are actually technically paying for that as part of the application fee process. Ask them to give you the fucking copy. Why not? Now, in terms of your overall financial picture, I do recommend that you go to the Inovus.com website just because they are technically a credit reporting agency. You are still legally entitled under federal law to be able to get one free copy of your credit report per year from Inovus and they will give it to you. You just have to go through and basically just mail off your information. It's kind of a antiquated, outdated way of doing it. I have heard sometimes of employers checking an OVIS. I've also heard sometimes of mortgage lenders checking an OVIS, some banks checking an OVIS as well when you're trying to open checking your savings account. So even though TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian are the big three, and those are the ones that matter the most, you might as well see what's on your OVIS once a year, but I wouldn't really worry about it more than that. And then you've also got check systems. And while that's not a credit reporting agency, that is a company that could potentially negatively impact a lot of you because if you've been bad boys and girls with your checking accounts, with your savings accounts, you bounce checks, you've um, overdrafted your account several times, you've had accounts forcibly closed with negative balances, all of that information could be reporting on your check systems as well as potentially your credit reports. You know, a lot of times it'll just end up going strictly to your check system, but that check systems, that information could sit there for a few years and could be potentially what's keeping you from being able to open up a checking or savings account that you want with the bank that you choose. So you have the option through check systems to be able once a year to be able to go and pull up your free check systems report and be able to see if there's any negative information on there about you. Because frankly, when it comes to check systems, the best thing you can see is an empty ass report. It means there's nothing bad about you. Nothing good really gets reported. It's all bad. So if you have a bunch of companies listed, that means you've been a bad, bad boy and then we need to figure out how to fix it from there. The whole point of this exercise though is to provide you with tools and resources and information and education to be able to better help yourself in your credit situation and your overall, frankly, quality of day-to-day -day life. So some of you might sit there and say, I don't care that much about it. I'll only pull it up once a year. Well, good. If you haven't done it this year, then go to annualcreditreport.com and do it. Do it. Do it now. And if some of you already have and you're like, yeah, you know, I don't really care that much, or maybe you really do, then use some of the other options that I've pointed out and get your free credit report again that way. That way you can maybe get in the habit of keeping updated on it. You check it every two to three months or four months as opposed to every 12 months. You know, it's important to know what's out there. It's important to know what's being documented about you. It truly, truly is. Because... 
These bureau reports from TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, uh, they don't lie in a lot of ways, and they can be crushing, and they can kill your everyday quality of life, I assure you and promise you. So take my advice, never pay for a credit report ever again by using some of these tricks that I've utilized effectively over the years to my advantage. I'm just saying. So if you have any questions, you can tweet to me at the Jeff Schlegel on Twitter and I will answer your questions there about this. If you want to post in the comment section of this video, you know, if you need clarity or you know, some additional assistance and guidance into how to get these free credit reports or even just going through annualcreditreport.com. I'm willing and able to help you as well. Make sure you go. If you haven't done so in a while, you know, go pull your credit report because the next video of this series come next week is going to be about how to read and understand your credit reports. And it's going to be a whole lot easier if you can follow along with me. It truly is. And I can walk you through your TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian reports and explain to you how to read them and how to understand them and how to uh, compute what those reports are saying about your overall financial health and the type of risk that you are as a consumer. So thanks for watching this video. I hope that you guys will start to get more and more quality information out of the series as it goes forward. I hope you're enjoying the information you've gotten so far, but I assure you there's a lot more golden nuggets coming up.